Srishti Kotak and I am an intern here. So uh, my intern project is to build a machine learning model to classify errors uh, during Python package installation. These errors are collected by thought dependency solver. So in order to classify errors, I first had to identify the type of errors and add the class label for each row. In order to do that, I first created a template notebook to pre-process the solver data and output the clean data, which would be the input for clustering for now and later for classification. So here you can see the uh, pre-processing notebook. So first step was to extract the error data from solver data. I use some solver package functions for do, uh, doing that. So this is how the error data looks like. It has package name, package version, index URL, type, command, message. This is the main log which I'll be using for clustering and classification. And uh, all these columns it has. Then uh, let's have a closer look at the mes messages. Uh, these are the two rows from the data frame. As you can see, it is very unclean. It has a lot of important information, but it needs to be cleaned and extracted. So to do that, I did, I split the log into different sections like uh, error info, command info, current working directory, complete output, error, specific error, exception if there are any. After doing that, the messages look something like this. The about two messages has these patterns, error info extracted, the command used to install, the current working directory, the complete output, which has 15 lines in it, the error, and the specific error, which is file not found error. And for the second one, as you can see, it is a very small log. It doesn't have a lot of information, but it has a error that is no matching distribution found. So for clustering data, I first look for specific error if, column. If it doesn't have that value, I go and search for the value in error column. If it doesn't have that value also, I look at the error info, which is mostly the generic error. So after doing that and cleaning it a bit, it looks something like this. Those two error logs, which I showed earlier, look something like this for the clustering. Then uh, next step is to do tokenization. After tokenization and cleaning it a more a bit more removing the package information, the package name and the redundant information. It looks something like this, this and this. Uh, so once tokenization is done, I added it in the data frame as two extra columns, clustering data and tokenized clustering data, which looks like this, um, something like this. So this is the cleaning part. And then I save this cleaned data frame in a file and I use it for clustering, which is my next notebook where I just load the data you saved in the previous notebook. Then I used word to vector model for word to vector conversion. Once my tokens are converted into vectors, I use sentence vectorization where I convert the sentences into vectors using the word to vector model I created above. And once I have the sentence vectors, I use nearest nearest neighbor, neighbors to find the average distances between data points. Once I have the average distance, I use knee locator to find the epsilon, which is basically the linkage distance threshold above which the clusters will not be merged. So for agglomerative clustering, I don't have to pass the number of clusters. I just pass the distance threshold and it detects the number of clusters on its own based on the distance. So after clustering, I get, get the cluster labels, which again I add to the data frame. Then just to show the pattern in the in each cluster, I did all this and it looks something like this. So for cluster number three, it has 366 uh, rows in it with the error or class, no matching distribution found error. Then this has 320 rows with syntax error and so on. So basically this pattern is my class. This is the refined form of pattern and Finally, I add this as a class column to my data frame, which looks something like this, class label. So this is the class which label, uh, which I'll use for classification later. And yep, looks something like this. And 
this is the list just the list of unique errors in this data frame data set sorry that's it thank you any questions uh, nice uh, yes uh, where, where are the comments sorry where are the comments you just have uh, python code cells there's there's no single common cell yeah. comments eh yeah, comments. I thought that is the idea of a Jupyter notebook to have human readable text and machine readable text both joining together to accomplish a man machine collaboration. So um, I think it's it's uh, very uh, interesting uh, to see that work. And but um, please add comments. Um, so describe a little bit whatever you just said. Um, please, please add it uh, to the corresponding cells because I think it's 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 a good um, it's a good way. I don't know if it is um, inspired to, by the uh, data scientists in AI ops or by Will Benton's team, the four deployed engineers. But I think it's a good way to separate these notebooks and, and really have one for pre-processing and then the, the other one uh, doing the real work. Um, that, that is one comment, and um, the other uh, the the question that I had is uh, in the first notebook in the first row you um, do something with the zip file. Um, yes. What what is that data set you're using? Is it um, from from our disk or is it is it the Kegel data set that uh, yes. we have published early on? It is the Kegel data set. Okay, cool. And that. yes. And and um, um, thinking about the last um, cell that you showed to us, is it that we would um, publish uh, an update of that um, Kegel data set, including your labels, or is that like like a diff different table in the same data set or a different data set? Sorry, this table, right? So, yes, exactly. So this the, is the this error question. label that you added yeah. yeah this is just the input for clustering and i'll refine it more for classification like the other columns will be the features for classification so i'll clean those also yes. later for that okay and all the classification we will also put in the solver data set on kegel later on yeah i guess okay that that is part yeah. of the work yes the idea is cool. to have these uh, reusable notebooks, and you can basically have also a, a workflow that would clean the data we have every some time and create a new version of the data set with updated data, maybe. Mm. Cool. That's really nice. Uh, thank, thanks uh, for showing and explaining that stuff. Thank you. So, to my understanding, you are creating classes uh, based on uh, the exception that was raised, right? Yeah. And these classes uh, will be then used to, to uh, cluster uh, errors within these classes. Is that correct? Yeah, like these classes will be used for classification. I'm clustering to identify the type of error since these logs are not labeled. So in that case, uh, I don't know if, if I follow. So you find an exception that is that is uh, in the in the log, right? Based on parsing. Mm -hmm. And if you find that exception, then you have uh, the class. But right? the exception is not there for all the logs like for from 1600 rows there were exceptions in only 30 or 40 rows or logs there's error tag but that's also not in all of it and there are some like in some there's file not found error and then in some there's file space not found or something no files found something like that and are these errors uh correlated somehow or are these different types of errors? They, like some are correlated, obviously. There are few which has more than one error, so it's not correlated. 
Okay, so let's sync, sync on this data. Okay. Um, and uh, I want to ask you, so you use the vector space of words and also the vector space of uh, sentences? Yeah. And uh, how does the vector space of sentences work? Because I, I, I didn't hear it yet. Oh, like first I just normal word to vector conversion, word yeah. to vector conversion. Then since the logs has mo a it's a sentence, so I just use those words to replace those word vectors to replace the words in the sentence and make a vector of that sentence. Oh yeah, ah, ah I see. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks for that.